okay, I'm here in my koala onesie. Um, I've got my shop. <laughs> Already? Isn't it early for you? I've got my shop update up officially. Um, I've got a lot of new pieces. I know I kind of did a sneak preview of a few of them, but I've got, you know, a lot more. Um, I just woke up and went straight to updating my shop. So, hi, good morning. <laughs> Um, yep, everything's up, and we're gonna see how it goes, how the actual pieces perform, how my hashtags work, and um, basically how much better it is for me to do a shop update all at once rather than just listing everything as it comes. Um, so that's where we are. We are a couple of minutes after the official update, and um, I've got everything posted, and I've you know kind of shared with all of my social media at this point. So. Yep, now we just gotta see how everything does, how it how it actually works for us. So um stay tuned. Thousands of tears later. It went so bad. It went so poorly. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this happened. Okay, so <laughs> for reference, um before my shop update, I was getting probably three to four favorites on one of my items each day, on average, specifically the mushroom keychains, right? They're actually quite popular. They had like 64 likes, um, favorites, whatever, on Etsy. It's been four days now, it's Friday, and I have no engagement in my shop right now, none. It completely stopped. I have not made a single sale. I have not gotten a single item favorite since my shop update. And I was like, oh my God, what happened? Do they just not like the new keychains or something? Like that, that's impossible. <laughs> Here's what happened. I thought that I would refresh my shop listing, the, specifically the listing of the mushroom keychains. I think the new ones just are nicer than the first round of um, keychains that I had. And so I was really excited about those. Wanted new pictures, new hashtags, new description. Everything just needs to be refreshed, right? I made a new listing. And I deleted the old one. Okay, here's the problem. <laughs> that old listing was the only thing tying like 65 people to my shop. <laughs> it was the only thing that was getting so much regular, consistent engagement that Etsy was pushing it um, because people liked it, right? Obviously 60 something people like this item, so they're like, I'll show more people, I'll keep showing people as long as they like it. I deleted it. I don't know, I did not think about it. I did not even consider it. I just thought, you know, like, with new mushrooms, I'll make a new listing and um, and everything will be great and people will love them. And basically I'm starting over. I am starting over from a couple of months ago when I first posted the mushroom keychains and I know that it can come back. I can build that back up in the same way. But damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I lost all of my engagement in my Etsy shop and I did not expect that to happen. This is such an important lesson learned. This is probably the most important shop update I will ever do because it failed. <laughs> um, it did take me a couple days to figure out why it failed why everything had dropped off, but um, now I figured it out. So here's how we're gonna recover from this, or here's how we're gonna try at least. I actually still have the notifications from all, every single one of the um, shoppers who favorited that item in the past. I can actually go to their Etsy profile and I can send them a message. And I think what I'm gonna do is just all 60 something of them I'm going to send them a message with the link to the new item. And I don't know exactly what I'm gonna put in that message yet, but you know, something to the effect of like, here's a new one, look, just for you. <laughs> if that gets me any interaction, any single favorites, then I can start to recover from that. So that'll happen. Uh, 
fingers crossed. Um, the other thing that I'm gonna do is Etsy has the explore page, which is basically Etsy Reels. You could actually like link an item in the video. And so like basically if I post a video of my mushrooms being made, I can, you can just click on the video and go straight to that listing, which is really nice. Hi. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna post some um, explore videos and this is, this is Rose. I know you haven't really met Rose, but she says hi. Um, so new videos. Also, I'm gonna do some Instagram stuff, just new stories and posts and stuff and I also am going to try to link directly to the new listing um, instead of linking to my shop. Hopefully that will get some engagement back. That's kind of my my plan, my recovery plan for this. Do you mind? What are you doing? Hi. Oh, hello. <laughs> so that happened. Uh, I'm, I, I'm very disappointed but at the same time like what else am I gonna make YouTube videos about, right? <laughs> um, it's, it's, like I said, it's my first shop update and I do think that in that way it's the most important. Um, I would have been curious to know how that would have done <laughs> if not for messing that up and accidentally sabotaging myself and, um, Hopefully that's something that I can find out in one of the next shop updates. That's where we are. We're, um... <laughs> yeah. I have, I have zero engagement in my shop. I have, as far as Etsy knows, like, everyone hates me. <laughs> so I am looking forward to seeing how I can recover from this. I, uh, I'm actually kind of... It, it, you know, it keeps it fun, keeps it fresh, keeps me on my toes. Um, so on that same note, I am not currently getting any money from my Etsy shop. I don't know how long it's going to take to bounce back and get that engagement back into my shop. So I have decided, since I already have another job as well, what I'm going to do for a little while is now that I've got my shop fully stocked and I don't really plan to make more just yet, and so what I'm going to do is basically kind of put this on pause. I'm going to, you know, wait to make more until I get the bag secured, if you know what I mean. And, um, and then probably in a few weeks, probably around like the middle of summer, I'll probably have another big shop update. And I will, of course, update more as I figure that out as well. But, um... I'm going to be slowing down on YouTube videos and I'm going to be slowing down on Instagram reels. Um, I do still intend to keep some, you know, consistent regular content going up, even if it's just some more shorts and stuff. So I'm going to be focusing more on, like I said, one, getting my money right and two, trying to see if I can get my engagement back in my shop because I'm really curious if that's even going to work very well um, or if I just am going to have to wait it out. I've been in sales before, right? And and something that worked pretty well was client outreach, right? And if you go and you email and you call each of your customers individually, then you know you you have a better chance of people responding and and coming in. I'll let you know how that goes. I'll let you know if uh, if that pays off at all, or if I am gonna end up just having to wait. I, I kind of had to do a little research myself to figure out how to do a shop update on Etsy. You can't list everything at once. You can't you can't like make a bunch of listings and then be like go live now. Um, you can't schedule listings. Basically, so what I did was the days leading up to my shop update, I created a bunch of listings and saved them as drafts, um, and then they were ready to post. And so on. Uh, May 1st, shop update day comes that morning, um, I can just go through there and I can see all of my drafts and I can click publish, 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 right? Um, and so that makes everything live at the same time. Uh, and that I liked. Um, I was also keeping regular uh, shop announcements so that my Etsy shop was not just going dormant in the meantime um, because Etsy does like to see some regular activity. It's just some little things, but they don't necessarily have to be new listings. Um, 
you can update your old listings. You can take new pictures and, and um, use new hashtags. And uh, it helps, especially with the changing of the seasons and the holidays. If yours is one of those gifts that like anybody would like at pretty much any time, then change your hashtags to be hashtag Valentine's Day and then hashtag Easter if you can, hashtag Mother's Day, you know, just kind of like keep that up to date because when people are searching for gifts, those are the words they're using. I did actually also really prefer making everything and then deciding when I'm almost done on a time frame to have that finished and then updating everything at the same time because now I can take a little break from creating physically and um, I got a lot of footage that I can use for reels and stuff like that. And had it worked out this phase now, after the shop update a few days later, um, should ideally be full of packing orders and, um, you know, kind of getting in the process of, of posting all of the new content and actually getting it all scheduled and all that good stuff. And so, uh, realistically, even if this had worked out, it would be a good time for a little break anyway. Um, so the only difference is that it didn't work out. And so now I've got to actually focus on work. <laughs> um, so that's okay. I, uh, you know, I don't mind. I enjoy both of my jobs. I, I think that, like I said, this is a very important time for my business because it's the first one. And not only that, it's the first one to fail. And now that I've gotten that out of the way, hopefully no others fail. Um, it's these sort of setbacks that remind me that I am in fact a business owner because, um, that's, that's how it goes. You know what I mean? Like that's just, you can expect if you own a business to kind of bomb a couple times. Um, and here we are, we're doing it. We're, uh, not succeeding. <laughs> um, but we're going to, you know, we're going to recover from this. And, um, I am fortunate enough that I have the time to, uh, dedicate to continuing on with this venture, even though it's not actually working out right this second. And, um, something that I'm really, really looking forward to is in another year or two, I can look back at this and I can say, man, my first shop update did so badly, right? Now I am doing shop updates regularly and they're succeeding every time. I would not get to where I want to be if not for this happening now, right? I don't know how I know that, but I know it. And so in a way I'm grateful it happened. I made this mistake now when I had 65-ish uh, favorites on an item and I'm really grateful that I made it now and not when I have you know, 270 favorites on an item because that's gonna, that would hurt more. That would be a bigger difference <laughs> by a lot. Um, and so I am glad that I'm doing this now and failing now and so that I can better prepare in the future. And we're, we are still in the, the infant stages of this business. And, um, I've come a long way in the last couple months. I do feel like I've learned a lot. Um, I feel a little bit more confident in what I'm doing um, and even why I'm doing it, but we're still babies. We're still a baby right now. Um, and so, you know, we've got to still poop, poop our pants. <laughs> we've got to still fall down before we can learn to walk. I'm going with that. Okay. So, um, that's where we are. We are we are falling down. We are tumbling, spiraling down. Um, but no, it's okay. It's, it's good. And, uh, we'll be back soon. There's no way that my shop will just never recover from this. Um, it is, it's a setback and that's part of life, part of, part of growing up and part of growing a business. And so that's, that's where we are. So thanks so much for following this journey with me. I, uh, it, it does mean a lot that I have people supporting me in, on the way and people that uh, can say like, hey, I've seen your stuff and it actually helps me to feel a little bit more confident about the process because like uh, sometimes failing hurts a lot, like deeply. <laughs> um, but it's something that happens to all of us. And if we just kind of persevere, if we just kind of keep, keep on, keep it on, keep pushing, 
uh, then we can make it. You know, we can do the things that we want to do. You know, we're kicking. We're just we're hanging in there. Uh, albeit by a thread, but that's okay. If you're not already subscribed, please be sure to do so because there's going to be a lot more of this. It's going to be a lot more, here's how I completely destroyed everything and now I'm going to try to fix it. Um, that's going to, that's kind of so far, that's the theme of my, my YouTube channel. So uh, here we go, you know, let's, let's do this. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in and I will see you guys next time. Bye. fucking crooked. What the hell? I don't know how this is possible.